Hi, this is Robert Dolan and Maria Dolan and we're with Dolan Homes and today we are showcasing the delivery of a new manufactured home in Edison Mobile Estates located on Route 1 in Edison, New Jersey. This home, new home that's being delivered was manufactured by Redmond Homes in Ephrata, Pennsylvania. They are a division of Champion Homes. This home that we are um, having delivered today is similar to a house that we built about a year ago in the community. This home is a 24 by 52 foot house, which is approximately 1,248 square feet. And you can see there I'm giving the driver instruction on where to take the house. Now if you look over to the, my left, you can see a house that's very similar to the one that we're building. So this new house will have a half front porch. It's a two bedroom, two full bathrooms. You can see the front porch there. It'll be set on lot E17 in Edison Mobile Estates. The construction of this house, our homes are all built to the Energy Star certification. So it's a two by six exterior wall with insulated windows. In addition to that, it has a high efficiency furnace, has a um, very high standard of insulation in the walls and the roof and the ceiling. And these, this home was designed to be installed in Edison, New Jersey, which is in the Northeast corridor of the United States, which has very cold winters and can be very hot summers. So the energy efficiency that we have these houses constructed by will help reduce your heating cost in the winter and your cooling cost with central air conditioning in the summer. This particular house is going to be placed on this lot that's up here on the right hand side. Once again that's a picture of the finished house. You can see here where we have the half porch. That's the one half of the house with the porch. This is the site that it's going on. You can see here that there are uh, cylindrical concrete, which is a little bit different color than the rest of the slab. Those are footings that are 24 inches in diameter and they go down 36 inches deep into the ground. The house is supported by those exterior concrete piers and then underneath the house itself is a continuous concrete slab. This house probably has somewhere about 45 yards of concrete. The reason that we do this is because it's a much better finished product with concrete underneath the house. It reduces any vapors that could come up through the ground and into the house. It also gives us a firm point by which we can secure our skirting. We can secure our custom built steps. <clears throat> Every house is a concrete patio that runs down the length of the house. Generally those are eight feet wide by the whole length of the house. You can see that there. On the back side of this house will be a storage shed. These are quite difficult houses to get on these sites because these mobile home parks that we work in were built in the 40s and the 50s when the streets were not very wide and the lots were not very deep because the homes were very narrow and short. This particular lot that we're building on is actually a combination of probably three or four little lots that were there in the 50s. So we use special equipment um, manufactured by Bobcat and these are uh, skid steer loaders that we're able to maneuver the house into tight quarters. 
There's one of our Bobcat excavators that we use. The trucks are too long to be able to get the house onto the site. So we connect the house by its hitch to our Bobcat skid steer and back it onto the site. In a minute you'll see the equipment coming around that we're going to use to put on the site. So the driver takes it so far and then this uh, Bobcat skid, skid steer will push it on the lot the rest of the way. We've built a custom hitch on the front of this to accept the hitch receiver. Now this house weighs probably somewhere around 45,000 pounds. The hitch weight is probably somewhere around 1,500 to 2,000 pounds. And we're able to pick it right up. It's a pretty unique way of doing it. There aren't many companies that do it this way. Part of what we do is we're very focused on safety and that's why that machine is so stable to do this type of work. We used to use a large backhoe, but it was too large and it didn't have the stability that we need. And this is my nephew Patrick who is our construction foreman who puts all the homes on the lots and does all the site construction. As you can see it just rolls right back into place. Once it's placed on the lot then the set crew will slide it together and assemble it. So this is a manufactured home and this manufactured home has a steel chassis which remains with the house. There's axles that are attached to that chassis to help it transport into the state. Very different than a modular has a steel chassis which is called a carrier and that modular is bolted to the carrier and then lifted off of the steel carrier and placed on a traditional basement or crawl space foundation. These homes which are manufactured under the HUD code, the chassis remains with the house. That's why they used to call mobile homes because they were mobile. They can move from one community to another. To this day we're still moving the old mobile homes that were built in the 50s and 60s on the original axles that they came with. We simply just replace the tires and we grease up the hubs and those homes from the 50s and 60s can still be transported safely down the road. Now unfortunately because of their age we transport them to facilities where they're uh, either recycled or demolished. As you can see, that bobcat can go right over the curbs. You can see the separation between the two houses. We try to get them somewhere around a foot and a half to two foot apart for the set crew to assemble them. Now normally that bobcat would have a bucket on it, a loader. That's what we use it for to load materials, but we take that bucket off and we put that special hitch on there. So this one half you're looking at is the dining kitchen area. The other half is the porch area. So that other half is the porch and the living room. Here's a quick photo of the kitchen. So when the set crew comes, they'll be siding the front of the house there. So now we're hooking onto the other half, the first half that we placed on the lot, and we're going to pull it forward 
and maneuver it as close as we can to the other unit. So by setting that one back further, we're able to swing the second one around and into place. So this home is two bedrooms, two bathrooms. It has a gourmet kitchen with stainless steel appliances. There is a laminate floor that will be in the kitchen and the living room. The front porch will have white vinyl railings across the front of it. And then we build a, two sets of custom steps with composite decking as well as vinyl rails just like you saw in that first picture. Stay tuned at the end I'll show you more pictures of the finished house that was built similar to this one. So pretty much Pat needs the eyes of everybody that's uh, standing around him to get, guide him where to place it. Here's the interior of the kitchen. So Dolan Homes is uh, Robert Dolan and Maria Dolan, his wife, myself, and our son Alexander Dolan and our Pat and our nephew Patrick uh, Dolan Majoris. So there's four of us and our. We're four generations now, and we've had Edison Mobile Estate since 1972. We're in the heart of Middlesex County. Uh, we've got a Sam's Club diagonal from the community. Here are the drivers handing off the paperwork. And we have a shop right, right across the street, and a Costco a little bit uh, behind there. Uh, we have easy access to the Turnpike, great access to Metuchen, uh, where the train station, you can pick up the train and be in New York City. Okay, I'll take care of the paperwork. <laughs> Here's another interior view of the house. Uh, similar, I'm not sure exactly what we're receiving during COVID. We've had some shortages on refrigerations, you, refrigeration units. So at this point, I do not think we'll be getting black appliances. I think everything that's coming in now is all stainless steel. And our prices are uh, still being fluctuated due to COVID shortages and labor shortages and the price increase of Oh my goodness, many things. Uh, concrete is another example. You can see the patio there that runs down the whole length of the house. Most of the community right now has curbing that runs throughout the whole community. We have a few um, areas that we're going to be installing new curbing and then we're constantly repaving and uh, updating the house. That's my nephew Patrick's been with me since he was 17 years old. That's great teamwork. There's a lot of preparation that comes uh, before the house is actually delivered so this is a very exciting day. The culmination of um, a lot of planning, setbacks, zoning, Couldn't really peek in. There's the laundry room. That was the furnace you saw in there. I'll do another video inside the house um, so you can see a full view of the house once it's all put together. In the meantime, I've sprinkled these little pictures throughout the video of the finished house that we built similar to it at lot D5.
So we are a land lease community in the heart of Middlesex County in Edison, New Jersey. Edison has a fantastic school system. And again, we're very close to the airport, uh, Rutgers University, uh, great hospitals nearby. It's a wonderful location. So he's going to be changing this, um, moving this forward a little bit. It's very precise work. And again, he's always being directed by the crew on the ground. Edison Mobile Estates is um, right between the Boston Market and the Volvo on Route 1 in Edison. Route 1 North, as a matter of fact. Again, another view of the kitchen. You want to tell them a little bit about the set crew? So the set crew comes in the following day. Um, that set crew is a second generation company from Pennsylvania. Uh, we've been working with them in the setting of our houses since 1977. Uh, the second generation, the sons now run the company. They come in and set the house, assemble it. Takes them approximately five to six hours to put the whole house together. They do the interior finish work as far as trim work, bolting it together. They cap the roof with shingles, and then they put the siding on the house. Once that's done, we then come in and do all the final finish work inside the house and on the exterior, the plumbing, the electrical, the uh, flooring, the steps, the decking, the yard, landscaping. So now we're going to run through the pictures of the previous home and give you an idea of what this house will look like inside. So you've got a uh, stainless steel sink, farm sink with a gooseneck faucet. I believe we've done the same canoe birch cabinets. They're all wood with hinges and um, adjustable shelves. All the appliances are Whirlpool. Again, we're not sure about the color. We're thinking it might be stainless steel. It's gas, not electric. That'll be the dining room beyond the island. You've got pendants coming down. You got four appliances, the refrigerator, the dishwasher, the oven stove, and the microwave. It's a really beautiful kitchen. Perfect to put little stools around the island. And that's the laminate flooring and the drywall and the LED lights and the ceiling fan in the living room. That's the front door. All the windows are thermal pane windows. The valances and the blinds are um, in the windows. They're provided by the manufacturer. All the appliances have warranties and all the warranty books are left in the drawers so that the new homeowner can fill them out. The house also comes with a Champion 7 warranty. Champion 7 warranty is from year 2 to 7. Everything inside the house, including the appliances, the furnace, the water heater, is covered under warranty for up to 7 years. There's a $50 per occurrence deductible. No other manufacturer has that type of warranty. 
Most of the time you just get a structural warranty, but this is actually covering everything inside the house. So it's a great advantage that we put on every one of our houses. That's the Champion 7 warranty. So what you just saw there was the master bedroom, the master closet, and the master bathroom now. There's a extra linen closet in the master bath. There's a view from the shower at the commode. And we install the glass doors. And there's the um, bathroom. Double sink. Medicine cabinet above the commode. Three win uh, mirrors above the, um, the vanity. There's your shower stall in your master bath. And beyond that, the master bedroom. Back to the kitchen. Here's the inside of the refrigerator. It's a great looking house. The rooms are big. It's uh, only two bedroom, two bath, and it's very spacious ample room. A lot of people are coming to us that are paying very high prices for apartments and owning their own home just is a dream for them. And just we're really happy to be a part of that. It's pretty expensive living in the shadow of New York City so um, our lot fee is pretty reasonable and the loan payments um, for the financing if someone needs financing tends to be less than what people are paying for luxury apartments nearby. It's another view of the living room, the front door, the kitchen. You've got glass tile backsplash behind um, the counter. That's the bronzite countertop. That's that new industrial gooseneck um, look. Every so often the manufacturer uh, creates a new look and provides a very modern look, very innovative look. It's not your grandma's trailer anymore. Manufactured homes are really state-of-the-art. They're built in manufacturing facilities all across the country. Ours happen to come from Effort of Pennsylvania. If you've been out to Lancaster, this is where they're coming from. There's your hall bath. That's a one-piece fiberglass unit. There's your porcelain sink in the hall bath. Your hallway, again, laminate. LED lights, smoke detectors fire extinguisher, that's your second bedroom, bypass doors for the closet, there's your beautiful front door, we add the Anderson storm doors, there's the view from the finished porch, and that's the yard. It's a really spectacular looking house. So go to our website, myhomeinedison.com. That's how we start the intake process and provide tours based on those who answer our 15 pre-qualifying questions. And come join us in um, Edison Mobile Estates. My Home in Edison is our website. We're located at 852 US Highway 1 in Edison, New Jersey, 08817. Just look for our blue sign on the highway directly from the Cam Man um, Asian Market. Here's a look at our family and our teamwork, our team that helps build these homes. Here's the family a couple years ago. Here's uh, again the big team that puts everything together. Here's this family picture. It's the next generation coming up eager to join us. And here's another group of the um, 
team that helps us. Here's our advantages to living in a Dolan home. And this is our uh, land lease. This is our lease agreement. And I provide that to everybody when they um, email me. We look forward to having you join us. Go to our website and you'll be receiving lots of emails that will help you work through the process. Thank you.